guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another How About Them Celtics video. Sam and I are here on Thursday, April 18th, talking about the Celtics. Uh, first round playoff opponent, which we still don't know yet, but whoever it is, Celtics have some pretty solid news regardless. Uh, as a reminder, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to How About Them Celtics. We'd appreciate it very much. Use code CLNS on prize picks for up to $100 deposit matching. And if you listen to us on podcast platforms, this video isn't there because it's a YouTube video. But uh, if you do listen to us on podcast platforms, make sure to follow us there. Leave us five stars and review. We'd appreciate it. But obviously, 76ers won their play-in game against the Miami Heat. They will be playing the New York Knicks in the first round of the playoffs, which means the Celtics will play the winner of the Heat and the Bulls, the Bulls who absolutely destroyed the Hawks in their play-in game. Uh, and the winner of Heat Bulls will play the Celtics in the first round. Now, for all of those people who have said, bring on the Heat, we want to, you know, get Celtics to get over there, their demons, you know, beat them in the first round, it'll be good. Great. For those who are said, oh no, the Heat are scary, blah, blah, blah. Also great because Jimmy Butler's hurt. <laughs> Jimmy Butler um, left the or didn't leave the game, but he stayed in the game against the Sixers on a injured um, right knee uh, MCL sprain. He's not going to be playing against the Bulls in the second play in game, which already reduces their chances of taking down the Bulls, let alone the Celtics. But it was reported earlier in the day from was it Shams or Woj, Sam? Do you know who put it out? <clears throat> uh, Well, I know Shams was doing right here some tweeting about this, but the Miami Heat legitimately <clears throat> released the injury report and were like, hey, Jimmy Butler's not going to play. Yes, but this is the real thing. The expectation is that Miami's Jimmy Butler will be out multiple weeks, according to Shams. So even if the Heat do get past the Bulls, that means the Celtics are getting a injured Miami Heat team in the first round. So regardless, uh, and then, I mean, even if you want to look at the Bull side of things, Alex Caruso and Andre Drummond got hurt uh, in the playoff uh, play in game, excuse me, against the Hawks. Caruso is expected to play against the Heat uh, and Drummond um, is just a little bit injured. But even Caruso is banged up. So regardless of who the Celtics get in the first round, they're getting a banged up team. And if that does end up being Miami, they're getting a Miami team that will probably be without Jimmy uh, for at least a couple games unless he pulls some bullshit Jimmy Butler shit. But uh, this is all good injury news uh, for the Celtics. Yeah. Um, so. First and foremost, happy April 18th. Beyond that, it is fantastic that the Celtics are having all of these things go in in their favor. Uh, Philadelphia won yesterday in the play-in. Whether or not you believe they are actually the more difficult opponent than Miami is one thing, but now with Jimmy Butler injured, it really does feel like they may not be or they may be far more difficult of an opponent than Miami is. And to be honest with you, they may not even be much better of an opponent than the Chicago Bulls would be. Getting both of those teams a little bit banged up is kind of strange and somewhat ironic since the Celtics can pin some weight of last year's Eastern Conference Finals loss on injury with Tatum rolling his ankle in Game 7. But um, fantastic that Philly moved on. Uh, the Jimmy thing didn't look pretty. He looked completely bothered by it for the remainder of the game after he, I mean, frankly, hurt himself foul baiting instead of taking a wide open dunk. He waited for the defense to show up and then intentionally jumped into somebody. And I think Tobias Harris landed on his ankle, even in, it was a knee injury. Uh, the Crusoe thing was far more bizarre because Andre Drummond just can't stop running into his teammates. He has a fetish for bumping guys in Chicago Bulls uniforms. He intercepted Torrey Craig's cell foul oop off the backboard last week in a regular season matchup. And then, of course, like you said, bulldozed Alex Caruso. Had no idea where he was going in that playing game against Atlanta and hurt one of the more prominent figures on the Chicago Bulls team. Here you go. Here's the clip. Just, just, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing, Andre Drummond? <clears throat> my, my guy. This is really like, nice uh, like watching him get injured and we're laughing. <laughs> you're, speak for yourself, brother. <laughs> it's like, like, was he like blocked? Was like, the, it's less about I guess... him. It's, it's more about Drummond just being a, 
buffoon. I guess Fernando was in his way, so he like couldn't see. Like I guess his vision was blocked. Like he probably didn't know Caruso. No, never mind. I don't do know. This is just no matter which way you spin this, this is bad. Caruso, what is Caruso's injury? <clears throat> it's he has a foot sprain. Yeah. What a mess, man. What a mess that Drummond has caused. Obviously, Jimmy Butler being out is good for the Celtics as well. It sucks for Jimmy. You don't want to see guys get hurt, but this does make um oh, it's a uh ankle, Caruso ankle. Um it does make their path much easier in the playoffs. Like realistically, do you think I think the Heat should still win without Jimmy against the Bulls? What what do you I honestly don't know what to think. Because they're also without Terry Rozier, former Celtic Terry Rozier, who is yeah they were out without him last night too. Performer, <clears throat> yeah, they didn't have him last night either though. They didn't have him last night. Search. They almost beat Philly and needed a Nick Batum career night to not beat Philly. But at the same Batum, time, who had seven ten point games in the regular season, <laughs> dropped twenty. Uh, on the other hand, I thought Chicago looked pretty good at times against Atlanta. Obviously, it's Chicago, and they were scoring against the Atlanta Hawks. So you have to take it with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. We were talking a lot about the the heat in in Sixers not being able to put the ball in the basket. And it's quite different when the ball actually does go in the basket in the opposite game. You're like, huh. Maybe this team actually isn't as bad as we all think. Maybe they are not a laughing stock. Yeah, I mean, they blew the doors off Atlanta. 15-point win. It was decided by the time the fourth quarter rolled around. And, mm-hmm. I mean, who knows if they're going to get a master class from Kobe White again. But they got they got some solid performances from DeRozan as well. Yeah, I don't know, man. I was feeling pretty good watching that Heat Sixers game about whoever the Celtics would play. And now there's a chance they could get either a Jimmy Butler less Heat team for at least two games and then an injured Jimmy Butler Heat team uh, for the series or the Chicago Bulls um, <clears throat> in the first round of the playoffs, meaning the Celtics passed it, path, excuse me, to the Eastern Conference Finals could look like a Jimmy Butler less Heat or Bulls team and then the Mavs or the Kajic. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 3 million members. It is the easiest and most exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You just pick more or less on two or more player stats and watch all the winnings roll in. You can now win up to 100 times your money on Prize Picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $10 into 1000 with basketball, hockey, college basketball entries today on Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. One of our favorite picks here at the How About Them Celtics podcast is the Drew Holiday blocks. It's usually 0.5. He just needs more than 0.5 blocks. That means one Drew Holiday block. And that pick is in the bag. Prize Picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Download the app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Again, download the app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. You hear that? Did you hear me say that? The Cavs It is magic. going. I will take the most Mickey no, did, Mouse possible. You missed what I said. Run. I said the Mavs or the Kajic instead of the Cavs or the Magic. <laughs> You're so excited you can't even keep I know. Your, your, yourself I on know. straight there. What a line, though. What a run. What a run that could be. That, that I mean, you might play. as well be the Mavs or the Kajic. <clears throat> I'd ra- well, I'd rather play the Cavs and the Magic than the Mavs, so let's maybe not. <laughs> Give me Kyrie. Down there. They can no, sweep no, him no. again. You want to play Luka in a playoff series? How many playoff wins does Luka have? Hit the conference finals room once. Uh, he's hit way too many buzzer beaters against the Celtics for me to want to. Celtics have bodied the Mavs the last two I know. seasons. I know. Um, but yeah, Bulls are an injured Heat team, an injured Bulls team, I guess, too. Sounds uh, pretty good. And then for what it's worth, that Cavs Magic series, they're going to beat each other up. Like, those are two physical teams. You got Jared Allen, you got the Magic, who are a physical squad. Like, I feel like that. And that's probably a series that I could see going seven. So <clears throat> they're probably going to be playing for a while. Celtics can take care of business to get some rest. Yeah, I think the Magic win on the road in seven. We've been over this. 
that, I always get a kick out of that. I, I have a very difficult time picking the under or the, the lower seed to win in seven. Not to say teams don't win games on the road, but in seven the magic team that has never played a playoff series is going to win a game seven on the road. I think they win the series. I think they take care of them pretty easily, but I don't know about seven. I don't know. I think, I think they might win in like five, to be honest. Oh, I, wow. I keep You're saying it. Cavs. Like anytime the Cavs face a roadblock this, this spring, they're going to have a hard time getting past it. This Donovan Mitchell situation with them is going to make it really difficult to come together because these other guys may not feel he's fully engaged. Not to say he's not going to play well or he may not help them win games, but as soon as the going gets tough, it may become time for him to get going. It's like what you saw from the 2019 Celtics when they started 5-0, and lost to Milwaukee, and then lost to them again and again and one more time, and then they were done. So yeah. I, my I can thing, see the Cavs crumbling. My thing is with the Cavs, like the Magic don't really have a defender that you can pick on. The Cavs have two that are going to be on the floor at all times. Like, I don't know. That's that's a tough thing to get past for the playoffs. Um, like we even saw Derek White get picked on a little bit in the last year's playoffs. So imagine what Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell are going to be going through. Uh, that's history. what I mean. Like, um, it's tough. I don't know if Orlando has the experience to fully exploit that, but I'm sure they're going to try. They're, they're going to do their best. That they will. And uh, before we get out of here, Sam, we were nominated for an award. Did uh, we win? First I took floor. a nap. Oh, baby. Let me, I'll play it for you. We're gonna... Shout out first to the floor. Um, let's, let's take a listen. Shout out first to the floor. Fans, uh, hence why they won this award. We've got two awards to get to before we wrap up here. The Nick Jelso Award for Nick best. Nick Jelso, who's a beast. I watched this live. Again, <laughs> many, many write-in nominees. Of literally hundreds of nominees. And thanks to everyone who voted in. But again, there can only Just be wait. one winner. Drumroll, please. The winner of the 2024 CLNS Best Personality goes to Jack Simone and Sam LaFrance. Hey! <laughs> this one was tight congratulations to these two as they make their way to the stage to accept their will michelle obama, michelle obama. obama. very very happy with the results uh of this one uh congrats dude i was i saw it happen live i was crying <laughs> oh man i gotta can you clip that i'll find a way Oh my god! Uh, oh. Shout out first to the floor. Those guys are goats. They had some nice shit. I was, I literally was gonna tune in. I we we went to the oh. ball game and I was so fucking tired when I got home because yeah, we we don't record a real show again until Saturday, so we'll have yeah. a little bit of fun. Ratlist is the GPS and I guess regular weekday traffic in Boston that was like, hey, yeah. uh, don't get on ninety three. Drive everywhere you possibly can before getting on, on ninety three. Yeah, like I didn't oh, get man. on ninety. 93 for like 45 minutes it was the just traffic on 93 is really 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 bad after red light yeah when i got on 93 <laughs> i didn't hit traffic and i could see that there was a ton of traffic on 93 before before i got on but driving in that city is a fucking night it's really bad there is something to the uh, to the mindset of like I'll give, uh, i just need to give an example there's a really bad intersection with no light so i'll sometimes be sitting there for like three minutes before i even get to go so yeah. i go like around through a couple lights just so i don't have to like go yeah. through the intersection which i know takes longer than just sitting three minutes but those three minutes feel so much longer waiting at the intersection so i just go around no, I hear you know you. what i'm saying like i, so would I feel like that's be moving in my car than not exactly moving. it's the same yes. as going around and doing all the things I did before getting on 93 versus getting on 93 and sitting there. Exactly. You just don't want to deal with it. hundred uh, percent. Yeah. But yeah. Shout out first to the floor. Fellas. Goats. Absolute goats. That video. Big, dude, I was dying. Big thanks <laughs> to them. That's cool. When he, fucking Michelle Obama. I don't know if that's meant to be Kaylin. Uh, all right. Anyways. Thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate it very much. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to First of the Floor too. I'll put the banner on for the last few minutes of the pod. Those guys are goats. Um, shout out Jake. Shout out Spoonie. Shout out Ben. Uh, subscribe to How About Them Celtics. We appreciate it. And I'll let Sam wrap it up. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. I think you should. That's why we won the award. We do a decent job. <laughs> uh, what? I just liked, I think you should. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think you should. Sister. You probably should. Yeah. You, people thought we were good enough to vote us. So uh, you won't, you won't regret it. We have pods coming at you Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. 
game recaps the morning after each game. So throughout the playoffs, we're going to be here for you. We we do daily content regardless, but the content is going to be a coming. You can also find us streaming, talking and seas, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings, sell to the round table around 6 p.m. on Tuesdays, and we are live for pregame before each playoff game. And, I mean, every game, we, we were here for preseason game one, too. But, yeah, come hang out. That's a ton of fun. Like Jack mentioned, Spotify and Apple have our pods and game recaps audio only. So if you follow us, those will go right to your feed. Leave a five-star review on Apple. You can find us via email, hbtcpod at gmail.com. We'll be recording the new pod on Saturday at some point. So get those thoughts in before we, we rip open the inbox. You can find our socials at How About Them Seas for Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Our Facebook is just the name of the podcast. And you can find our streams there, YouTube, and on Twitter. Jack's Twitter is at Jack Smone NBA. Mine is at Sam LaFrance NBA. That's it for us. Stop. Check